man, I've recorded this about seven times over. I still cannot get the same emotion that I'd like to get out of it. But I will do my best. This is dedicated to one of my best buds, JRD. So it goes, man. You know it's fucking hot outside when the sweat decides to take a vacation from your body. Floating and sweltering sweat pools on beds made from conversation and 140 heartbeats per minute. You see, I killed the high horse you rode in on with kindness and compassion and kissed your conversation with needles and spare engine parts. I swear, man, having me in your life has caused you a series of unfortunate events and I apologize for that. But one day, I hope to drive out of here with the hope that I make it big off of painting our conversations into reels of tape and playing it back through a canvas of tears and coffee cups filled with cheese as sharp as a knife. Not to exploit our friendship, no, but to produce something more for you to listen to on those long drives home, besides your mind starting wars against your heart, while the ghosts of rolling TR-808s and hangovers from yesternight still haunt you. You see, I am the same as you. No, I am the same as every one of you. The only difference between us is I choose to wear my ugly on the outside of my skin. A walking anomaly. Obsessed with the beauty in all things and the heart-wrenching realization that all things will one day and have already died. That is rejection. And I swear, as you're standing in the room full of the hardest drugs and the shittiest friends, I will pin that badge of rejection straight into your heartstrings. And as that blood crimson love trickles out of those pinpricks and into your pride, we will laugh like the kids we used to be, smiling through every single tantrum our ex-lovers used to throw against all the street signs from Burbank to Canoga Park. I swear, man, we gave up on those moments way too easily. And your words, your words, they are the same as my words. They scream silently. I do not want to feel like a chore ever again. Through pin-tight lips locked back in a snarl of self-love, fist-fighting self-hate. While water bombs dropped from A1 invaders explode into the receiving end of your telephone. And when they land, they are either saliva or tears. Huh. I can never tell anymore. You see, we are both taken by small, broken people. The only difference between you and Buddy is that I know your last name, and it isn't more.